Hello viewers, welcome back to Dr. Gupta's clinic YouTube channel. So today we will talk about compatibility and how is it so important in a relationship. So what is compatibility? First of all, let me tell you compatibility between two people is their ability to be in each other's company without fights or frictions. So it includes friendship, but it's not completely only friendship. So there are three things to think about. And that is, the comp that is what a compatibility test is made of. Number one, the things you do not like about your partner. Number two, the activities of common interest. And number three, things you do like about your partner. So these are things to think about, right? So you must be wondering, why did we start our presentation with the things you do not like about your partner? Well, these are the things you don't discuss normally, right? But this is more important than the things you do like about your partner. Because it's very evident to tell someone how much you like them, how you like their looks, how you like their behavior. And it's really easier to appreciate your partner. But can you tell them something that you don't like about them? You may fear that they will say something back to you or get really angry at you. Well, you do not say these things to your partner, right? But you think about them. So now let me ask you one question. How important is that thing which irritates you about your partner? Is it something that you can let go of and you can live with them for the rest of your life? You can tolerate it easily. Or you can be the bigger person and say, um, it's okay. I don't like that about that person, but it's not something so big. So that is a question to think about, right? And when, when we talk about great compatibility, and compatibility includes not fighting and not having friction, that means the one partner really tolerates the other th the something which he does not like about the partner quite easily. So what we advise people who come to us for couple counseling is that the things that you do not like about your partner should be simple things which happen in everyday life. It should not be something that goes against your belief system, right? Because that is something you will not compromise about. These are the things you can compromise about, right? So things you do not like about the partner should be something you can compromise about. And you can be like, okay, that's it. For the greater good of marriage, I can tolerate this, right? It's very important that both the partners should have friendship between them, right? That is very important. So, how is friendship developed? Obviously, things of common interest. Common interest can be things like going to the gym together, having same fitness goals, having same interests, maybe going to the two parties together. So, there can be many activities that couple do together and they should keep on doing things that keep them together. Right? So, one of the things is to have a common topic to talk about. Many times you will see, especially nowadays, that people who are of the same profession generally end up liking each other. Maybe the affair started in office and they want to get married. So profession, the similarity of profession becomes a very common ground of common interest between them. And for the whole life, they can talk about the profession because they, they're both in it. So that, that creates a friendship and that is based off of work. So that is a very good thing. In our sessions of couple counseling, we often encourage the partners to do activities which you both enjoy. Or else you can do some activity which one partner enjoys and the next week you can do activities which the other partner enjoys. Like for example, going to a mall and shopping is something which the ladies would enjoy. But going bowling or playing a game together, that may be something which the guy enjoys more. So one week, one week you can do something which the the woman enjoys and one day you can do something which the man enjoys. So that way you are taking care of each other's likes and dislikes. And that will promote togetherness and friendship and great compatibility and strengthen your relationship. Now we come to the number three, three point is that things you do like about each other. Even if you are 10 years married or you are just in a relationship, you want to not forget what attracted them about their partner right and as they start to live together even if they it seems mundane but the 
the spark and the appreciation and the love should always remain between the partners and how will that be it is through communication because sometimes it is very good to just sit and talk with each other appreciate their value in their life how much they have added to your life and how grateful you are to have them in your life that should be said and that should be remembered from time to time couples who come for couple counseling they say one thing you know he does not like me anymore or she does not like me anymore we used to love each other like mad but now the spark is not there anymore but do you know it is your fault because initially you were so in love with each other you would tell each other how much how much uh, you love them what are the things you like about them and how grateful you are to have them in your life have you said the same thing to your wife or your husband after 10 years of marriage why why people just forget to say it to each other what are the things they appreciate about them but this gratitude and that appreciation which is the basic rock foundation on which your marriage is built should not be forgotten one should always be grateful to some extent about your partner even if there are some day to day struggles but once they remember what, why they are with together and what are the reasons for their togetherness they will all couples do reconcile and once they remember this love also comes back Thank you for listening to the entire session of compatibility and the three points of the compatibility test. Compatibility is so crucial in relationships and compatibility does not always come easily or naturally. Rather it never comes naturally, but both the partners of a marriage should put in the work and they should both be communicative and loving and caring for each other. because com- great compatibility is always built and maintained if you get it naturally you are most lucky and if you can build it you are also very lucky but this is something which every every partner both partners of the marriage should consider to be very important and take out time to keep your relationship alive Our aim in making this video is to help those who are going through some rough patch in their marriage or relationship. I hope it helps them or gives them some ideas of some things which they are doing wrong in the relationship. So, if you want more information, you can always contact us. Our website, phone, and email. All the details are given in the description box as well as mentioned in front of you. So, thank you so much for watching. and if you do like it give us a thumb thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because next week we'll come out with part 4 of our couple counseling series i hope you are all excited for that as much as we are and we will see you next in the next video thank you